I challenge it. I really challenge it. And, you know, even though I've got text messages and people just saying, Felice, you know, congratulations. Happy Father's Day. Hope you, hope you enjoy your day. Yeah, it's good to be acknowledged. But one of the things that I come to learn for myself as a father, it's my responsibility. Like, let me just be real with you. If you're a father out there, you have children. Brother, it's our responsibility. It's my responsibility to be a father. And if I'm a father, I'm supposed to provide. I'm supposed to be there. I'm supposed to provide financial. I'm supposed to put food on the table. That's my responsibility. It's not my children. Like children and like, if anything, if anything for me, one of the things that I was thinking about yesterday was how grateful I am to have children. How grateful I am to have children and to be able to learn what it takes to provide and to be able to grow, that I need to be better, that I need to be a better father. I need to, I need to have more energy. I need, to, I need to be thinking faster. I need to be more intelligent. I need to be more patient. I need to be more loving. So I challenge the concept of Father's Day where everyone's like, oh, oh, thank you. You know, thank you, Dad, for doing this. Thank you. Brian, it's your responsibility, brother. It's your responsibility to work. It's your responsibility to put food on the table. It's your responsibility to put a, put a roof over the, your children's head so that they can have a home. It's your responsibility to pay for the bills. It's your responsibility to take them to school, to buy them clothes. They're kids. It's my responsibility. It's your responsibility. So when everyone's celebrating Father's Day, I'm, I'm celebrating different. I'm like, man, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have children. I'm grateful to be on this journey where I see my kids grow. That I have to grow physically. I have to grow mentally. I have to grow spiritually. I have to be more patient. I have to be more loving. So one of the things that I want you guys to think about, fathers out there, fathers, yeah, you had a good day yesterday, but brother, it's your responsibility. It's me and your responsibility to provide and protect. We don't need acknowledgement. I'm going to be real with you. We don't need acknowledgement because we're the ones that are benefiting. I don't know if you guys just caught what I just said. We don't need acknowledgement. If you're a father, you don't need acknowledgement because you're the one benefiting. Why are you benefiting? Why am I benefiting? Because we have little minions. We have little babies that we can grow and cultivate and we can, we can share our personal experiences, but at the same time, we can learn from them. Think about it. My eldest daughter, for me, she's turning six. She's turning six. Within the last five, six years, I have learned so much about myself. I've learned how impatient I am. I have learned how lazy I am. I have learned how all the excuses that led me to gain all the weight, I would blame it on my children. I would blame it because I'm working. If anything, it liberated me. So my message is very, very clear. I want to leave you on this concept. We don't need acknowledgement. We don't need Father's Day. It should be called Children's Day. Because it's me and your responsibility to be a father. We chose it. Our children didn't choose to be born. They didn't just create themselves. We created them. We created our babies. So next time you blame something on your children, next time you blame not being healthy because of your kids, it's not your kids' fault, it's your fault. Next time you blame because you're overweight because of your marriage, it's not because you're overweight, it's not because of your marriage, it's because of you. It's because of your weaknesses. Next time you blame being overweight because, you're, because of your career, no, it's not your career, it's you. Everything is us. We are the head of the family. We are the protectors. And so what I'm trying to share with you guys if anything, let Father's, be, Father's Day be a day when you reflect on yourself on how, how blessed you are to have beautiful children where you can teach them in the right way. You can cultivate them. You can teach them. You know, if anything, teach them, but you're going to teach yourself. What are the lessons? Like, if there's a question that I want to share with you, like, what is a lesson that you've learned from yourself? What is the lesson that you've learned from your children? Man, I've learned so many lessons. Been, like, just... Within the last five years, I've learned lessons around how I need to have more energy. I need to be more patient. I need to be able to explain things. A lot of the times when I get frustrated with my kids, like my kids are playing, right? Like, so for example, at home, they're playing with the blinds. My son, he's, he's like 10 months, he's old. He's playing with the blinds. I'm getting frustrated at my son 
because he's playing with the blinds. In his mind, in my son's mind, he's just playing. He doesn't know that it's bad to play with the blinds. So because I'm short-tempered, guess what I do? I tell my son off, son, stop doing that. He doesn't know. He's only 10 months years old. So what I came to realize is a lot of the times where I'm frustrated at my children, it's got a lot to do with me as a parent. It's got a lot to do with me as a father. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, I've been tired of work. I'm tired because I've just done this and this and this. Brother, it's your responsibility. It's my responsibility. The whole concept that I'm trying to share with you guys right now is, is, is from a mindset of taking ownership. Take ownership, brother. This is your life. This is my life. We are the ones that bring it, brought our children into this world. Let us grow and become better. And that's why everything that I tie into, everything that I talk about, this is why I talk about you need to lose the weight. This is why weight is such a big problem for fathers and husbands. Why? Because I see it. I see it in my journey. I see it within the brothers that I work with every single day. They don't get the career. They don't get the job. They don't get the promotion. They don't have the marriage. They don't have the relationship with their children. Their children, because they're insecure, their children are insecure. And so let Father's Day be a day where you reflect on how blessed we are as fathers. And let us, and let it be a reminder. Let it be a reminder, brothers. If anything, what do you need to do to be better? How can you become a better father physically? How can you be a lot more fitter, more stronger? Educational wise, how do you like, what, what books do you need to read? Do you need to do another course? Like for me, a big part of me is like, I love reading. I've come to learn to love reading. A big part of me is my punctuation, my English. I need to learn on that. Okay, I'm going to learn on it. Awesome. Career, what kind of what kind of job do you want to do? Are you just settling because you're just, you don't have that confidence because of the weight? Marriage. How do you make your marriage a lot more on fire? How do you make, how do you, how do you instead of, you know, how do you create that same relationship and fire that you had when you were, when you first started dating, how do you recreate it five years later and 10 years later, 15, 20 years? Why can't it be the same? Why not? I challenge that. And so let Father's Day be a day where we, we don't just celebrate us. We celebrate life. We celebrate children. We celebrate a, a day where we can remember and say, and ask yourself this question, how do I become better? How do you become better? How do we become better? How do we become better providers? So that's my message that I want to share with you guys. Much love. Keep it 120, baby. Keep it 120. And I'll see you guys next week.